Hi, my name is Sean Cobb. I'm a former rescue recovery diver and rescue swimmer. We're here today on the beautiful, but very swift and cold Umpqua River. I'm going to be demonstrating how to use a throw device to perform a rescue. Uh, a throw device is really the, the best means and safest means. Uh, getting in the water with a drowning victim is extremely dangerous. I never recommend that. In the chance you don't have something that you can throw, breaking off a branch off of a tree, or using a beach towel, anything that you can use to put between you and the rescue victim to pull to shore. You could use a rope tied to an ice chest, uh, works very well. A rope tied to a life jacket is another option. In our case today, we're gonna to be demonstrating how to use a throw bag. Throw bags are used very much the same way as a throw ring. This is a throw bag. It works very well throwing from the shore or from a boat or a dock. Uh, the way you use it is you hold the rope in one hand tightly, the bag by its strap, and you're going to do an underhand throw. You're going to try and throw past your victim downstream just a little bit because your victim's going to drift into it. But the key is, is you're going to get their attention. You're going to yell rope, 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 and throw past your victim then pull the rope, pull the throw bag to the victim. If you miss, simply pull it back in all the way. Don't worry about recoiling the rope, just keep a hold on one end of it and throw it again past the victim. A throw ring works exactly the same way. An improvised item such as a rope tied to an ice chest would work exactly the same way. We're gonna demonstrate it now. Rope, rope, Help. rope! Help. Help. Ah. 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 Oh, thank you. Oh, 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 I'm so tired.